strategy is very important. And I think because, um, especially if you are tight, so some of these studies that have been done have been done on a wide range of people. And just take the group of people and stretch them. And those who stretch those who do not, you don't find a change. You don't find a difference. However, I believe that if you are tight, the more degrees of freedom that you have to move more freely, the less chance you're going to have to get So I think stretching before is really important. Um, don't stretch after as well. But I think you want to get the degrees of freedom, especially if you're tight, especially if you get tight with your clothes. Get it loosened up before you start. So I think that.
That's the other thing is that the downhill is very much more painful. Yes, yeah, so he does a lot of uphill running. It's pretty amazing. So he's been able to Yeah, perfect form, young man. So you were spousing, sorry, for walking, you said forefront, or no, no, no. does it matter? No, no, no. walking is normal. Okay. Yeah. And no. is, is no. there data that I, I took on an undertone there that it's negative if you walk with a force? Well, it's more costly. Your, your energetic costs will go up. So if you want to lose weight, you know, maybe it's a good thing to do. Uh, <laughs> I'm not sure if you're going to injure yourself. It's a, you know, walking is a complete. So in running, you land, your center mass goes down and then up. In walking, your center mass goes up and then down. They're just completely different. You know, running is just not is not just fast walking. They're completely different mechanics. And so you, you, we really were designed to land on our heel. That's why we have that heel pad when we walk. And as Dan said, running is a series of landings. And so when you land, you don't think about landing on your heel and like jumping off of something. So it's really, I mean, our contention is that we weren't really meant to land on our heels when we are walking you are. Sure. The reason I ask is sort of, sort of personal. Our three-year-old son, ever since he was born, you know, he, he's running since he was nine months, but he always does it as if he was wearing high heels. You know, so he's always running around on his tippy toes. Yeah. People don't actually, kids don't develop an adult gait until they're about six. Um, but, he'll, he'll yeah. <laughs> but there are 
I know for, we are, should be concerned. <laughs> <laughs> there, are, there are times right. there are kids that tend to be a little bit more up on their toes. Than, mm -hmm. I mean, even in, in adults as well. Yeah. Thanks. So there's no, there's no more Really spent 